Today I want to tell you a story about the Fairbank family. This is Jonathan Fairbank we're talking about. 1594 he was born. At the age of 39, he immigrated to New England with his wife Grace. They moved to Boston and lived for three years. They settled, finally settled down in a town called Deedham, Massachusetts. They were granted 12 acres and so they started construction of what is known today as the Fairbanks House. And this is the oldest wood, wood framed house still standing in America. So the house was built in 1637, they believe. They've scientifically dated the beams between 1637 and 1641. So that makes it pretty old. So let's take a look at the house and uh, I'll point out some key features of the design. So let's get to it. It's believed based on the stories and the documents passed down from family that the beams and the bricks and all the windows were imported from England. The home's been added to added on to over the years. It currently stands as pretty much as it was around that time and it has some interesting features to it. Once you enter the front entry, you're greeted by a small stair that takes you up to the second story. And guests would have been greeted in this small foyer and then taken to the right which brings you into the living room area which in the living room there's the main focus would have been the centrally located fireplace the fireplace is a main element of the house it's it's the heart of the home as frank Lloyd wright would describe and it's prominently located in the center backing up to the living room is the kitchen there's a back-to-back fireplace one side's on the living the other's on the kitchen and it served as the heating for the home, but also it served for the main cooking source. A brick oven is built into the side of the fireplace. The kitchen was sized so that you could eat in the kitchen, but towards the back of the house were two additional rooms. They're built at a little slightly higher level than the kitchen and living room. On the west was the hall and the east was the parlor. But as the family grew, they added an additional parlor and bedroom to the east with an additional mudroom off the south. The home is a perfect example of a mid-17th century home, and I can't believe that it's still standing today. Jonathan Fairbanks died in 1668 at the age of 74, and the home's been passed down from generation to generation. If you can believe it, there's never been a mortgage on the property, and it's never been sold. That's amazing, considering that all the stuff that families go through to never have transferred the property through sale is uh, is unbelievable. Just an example of that, if you want to check out some of this family's history, I would suggest you do a search for Jason Fairbanks. Look into his story. It's a, it's a rather sad but interesting story. But that was about 100 years after the death of Jonathan Jason Fairbanks was born. So check that out and uh, see what you think. If you if you find some information about Jason, leave it in the comments of the uh, of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And if you want to stay in touch, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to check in with me or get in touch with me, you can reach out at Thomas M. Sawyer on Twitter or check out my website at whitewashstudio.com. Thanks for watching.